Well, that's a bit more like it, eh? Extremely invigorating, sir. Yes, Jeeves, that's just the word I would have used. Yes, makes you want to get up and belly well have a run around the park. My feelings precisely, sir. I'm in love with Miss Wickham, sir. We are going to kidnap that child. I shall be returning to the cottage now, sir, if that is consistent with your wishes. Really speaks to me, that song, you know, Jeeves. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Would you like to hear the rest of it? I shouldn't like to put you to any trouble, sir. This white mess jacket is brand new. I assume it had got into your wardrobe by mistake, sir, or else that it had been placed there by your enemies. I will have you know, Jeeves, that I bought this in Cannes. And wore it, sir? Every night at the casino. Beautiful women used to try and catch my eye. Presumably they thought you were a waiter, sir. The lad is of an outspoken disposition, sir, and had made an opprobrious remark respecting my appearance. What did he say about your appearance? I do not recall, sir, but it was opprobrious. I now intend to give it a bit of a run-through on the piano. Is that wise, sir, so soon after a heavy meal? Good, good. Uh, well, Bingo's got a bit of a problem, Jeeves. Delicate subject, Jeeves, as a matter of fact. Very good, sir. Jeeves? What on earth's the matter, Jeeves? Jeeves? <clears throat> I apologise, sir. It was unforgivable of me. I shall be better directly. It's just Mr Little's tie, sir. It has little horseshoes on it. Oh, yes, yes, I noticed that. Hmm. It's sometimes difficult just to shrug these things off, sir. You're just the sort of person we need in the movement. <laughs> the working masses. I hesitate to contradict you, Mr Spode, but the working masses and I have barely a nodding acquaintanceship. Good afternoon. We should loosen his collar. I hardly think such drastic measures are called for, Miss Bassett. What is it, Jeeves? Uh, there are some curious objects in the wardrobe, sir. Curious objects? They're handkerchiefs, Jeeves. Handkerchiefs? Uh, I think not, sir. They appear to have writing on them. Oh, come now, Jeeves. I bought a couple of dozen of them the other day and they offered to put my initials on. See? BWW. I see, sir. With what purpose in mind, sir? I just think they look dashed smart. Do you, sir? Beg pardon, Comrade Worcester, some persons to see you. Do you realize I don't usually get out of my pajamas till five in the afternoon, and then I just put on a sweater like this? Don't listen, Jeeves. <laughs> Jeeves? <laughs> I'm sorry, Jeeves. You shouldn't have heard that. I should be better directly, sir. And about five or six wagon loads of sardines. Sardines, sir? Sardines. Well, they look at me, Jeeves. It's not my fault. I'm surely not frightened of a tiny little dog, Jeeves. If I may be so bold as to contradict you, sir, the creature seems to me to be above average in muscular development. I would also draw your attention uh, to the number and size of the teeth. Which suit would you wear, sir? Oh, uh, this one, I should think. Very good, sir. I'm trying to improve my mind, I dare say. That seems scarcely possible, sir. I regret that the terms of my employment do not permit me to take part in criminal activities, sir. Oh, what rot, Jeeves. Really get to borrow him for an hour? In any case, there's nothing remotely criminal about bringing two loving hearts together. That is not an assertion I should care to see tested in a court of law, sir. Well, you disappoint me, Jeeves. Is this the way the Jeeveses of old faced fearful odds? I should imagine, sir, that it must have been, or else the line would have been speedily extinguished. Well, you see, now that is clever, Jeeves. Really, sir? I shall follow a few steps behind, if that is acceptable, sir. I should not like to be seen in association with that hat. You know the trouble with the trombone, Jeeves? So? After half an hour or so, one's lips get incredibly numb. Perhaps it would be wiser not to persist with the instrument, sir. Oh, nonsense, Jeeves. <laughs> I'm only concerned with your health, sir. The numbness of which you speak may be a symptom of some deeper malady brought on by overexertion of the labial and maxillary muscles. I envied that, chappy. You know, having a jolly little girl clinging to him trustingly and whatnot. Someone to look after, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I wish I had a daughter. I can't help feeling, Jeeves, that 
I could do better justice to this song if I understood what the words meant. Oh, I doubt that, sir. This is a new razor, isn't it? Yes, sir. I took the liberty of buying it yesterday. What on earth for? The other one was perfectly all right. I did not think that it was performing its task with the required efficacy, sir. Jeeves, I am not going to discuss my facial arrangements. Very good, sir. I read a most stimulating article in the New York Times, uh, the author of which asserts that moustaches are a most notorious cause for divorces in... Really makes you think, does it, Jeeves? Indeed it does, sir. But are you proposing to appear in public in those garments? <laughs> well, certainly, Jeeves. But, uh, a bit vivid, do you think? Not necessarily, sir. I'm told that Mr. Freddy, he's a riot flower dew, often appears on the music hall stage in comparable attire. What happened in 1776, Jeeves? I prefer not to dwell on it if it's convenient to you, sir. Shall I lay out one of your novelty handkerchiefs for you today, sir? Oh, come off it, Jeeves. Everyone wears things with initials on them nowadays. I thought practice was restricted to those who are in danger of forgetting their names, sir. Oh, it sends shivers down my spine, Jeeves. Well, perhaps if you were to put your jacket on, you would feel the cold less keenly. Well, what on earth is Biffy doing getting engaged to a Noria gossip? I could not say, sir. I mean, there probably are fellows in this world who could get engaged to this gossip menace and like it. Tough, hearty chaps with strong chins and glittering eyes, but Biffy is not one of them. Assuredly not, sir. No, no, not at all. No, nothing she'd like better than you to see the grounds of that. Do we know him, Jeeves? I fear so, sir. I shall find a cottage and resume my studies. <laughs> In that case, sir, I fear I must give my notice. Jeeves, did I hear you correctly? Yes, sir. <laughs> you would actually consider leaving my entourage? Only with the greatest reluctance, sir. But if it is your intention to continue with that instrument within the narrow confines of a country cottage... Jeeves, <laughs> you say that instrument in an unpleasant, soupy voice. Do I take it that you dislike the trombone? It has well been said, sir, that the trombone is not an instrument for a gentleman. I rue the day when you first saw Ben Bloom and his 16 Baltimore buddies at the Alhambra Theatre. Most heartwarming, sir. He needs your help. I fear that it is hardly my place, Mr. Worcester, to intervene in a private matter affecting... Oh, come. No, sir. I would be taking a liberty. This is a story about many the moocher. Bring me my white mess jacket with the brass buttons. Oh, good heavens, sir. Uh, it was most remiss of me, but I fear I inadvertently omitted to pack the garment. I know you did, Jeeves, but I didn't. You'll find it in the other wardrobe. Very good, sir. The rift between Tuppy and my cousin Angela appears to be serious, Jeeves. <clears throat> Indeed, sir. Well, <laughs> I've had rather a stunning idea, Jeeves. And I've been in conference with Mr. Glossop and everything is taped out. And lace his luncheon orange juice with it. Sir? Pardon me, sir, but this article appears to have found its way into our luggage. Yes, rather snappy, eh? I bought it at Bates. I am surprised, sir. Oh, come on, Jeeves. I told them I was going to New York, and they came up with the goods. No mention was made of a carnival or fancy dress occasion, sir? Jeeves, it's a perfectly good hat. I shall be the Beau Brummel of Broadway. I thought I heard a little fairy voice saying his name over and over. Goodwood Cup. We all hope it's going to be an exciting race. Hello. Ah, Jeeves. What hell? Good afternoon, sir. You know, it really is extraordinary, Jeeves. Almost like coming home. So, what's been happening while I've been away? Oh, uh, no, sir, it has been very quiet. Well, what do you think? I only hope the poor creature died a peaceful death, sir. What? Oh, the coat. Yes, it's rather snazzy, isn't it? No, I was referring to the moustache, the old soup strainer. Very striking, sir. Yes, yeah, rather Ronald Coleman, I thought. It was Lord Kitchener who sprang to mind on first sighting, sir. Do you know what I look for in a song, Jeeves? Uh, not precisely, sir, no. I have often speculated. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I could not possibly engage in anomalous activities in any house in which we are guests. Good afternoon, sir. 
Your master is an extremely worried man, Jeeves. Sir? Oh, stop playing with the hat, Jeeves. I knew you wouldn't like it. Well, not at all, sir. Oh, good heavens, it has its name printed on the inside. How convenient. The Alpine. Did you purchase the article in a shop, sir? Well, of course I bought it in a shop, Jeeves. A department store. Oh, I see, sir, yes. One reads about such places, of course. I was merely wondering whether they also stopped the leather trousering, which would undoubtedly set it off to full effect. Light. Oh, my Jeeves. Help me on with the jacket, Jeeves. Um, which way up does it go, sir? You'll pardon me mentioning it, sir, but I discovered this article on our hat rack. I can only assume that a tradesman left it. Oh, jeez, we're not going to have a difference of opinion about that hat, are we? I'm not yet in a position to say, sir. This is what is known among the fashionable elite as a 42nd Street skimmer, Jeeves. Gentlemen do not wear straw hats in the metropolis, sir. <sighs> you had a moustache, then. I do declare you look so much handsomer without it. Moustaches really are the end, are they not? Alpine Joe, we call him, sir, on account of his peculiar headgear. Yeah, he's got it with him now. Curious, he never moves without it, sir. You'd think he'd have the sense to adopt some rude disguise. <laughs> what a do, eh? <laughs> Don't miss me. We're engaged. Just thought I'd, I'd, I'd let you know. Uh, to Lady Florence, that is, not her father. Let me be the first to congratulate you, sir. You, uh, you don't disapprove, Jeeves? It is hardly my place to say, sir. Well, I know it's hardly your place to say, Jeeves. That doesn't normally stop you. Well, I'm glad to see you're taking it so well. So, there it is. Uh, You just have to act your age. I placed it by your bedside, sir. I took the liberty of glancing through the volume and thought it might make an excellent remedy for insomnia. I trust that your optimism is justified, sir. <sighs> You're being a positive wet blanket this morning, Jeeves. I'm going down to the drones while you pack. Very good, sir. It rhymes, you see. Sweden, Neden. Almost, sir. <sighs> what, old Jeeves? Something is arresting your attention, Jeeves? A smut on my nose, perhaps? No, sir, on your upper lip. I thought for a moment that a caterpillar had lost its bearings. Ah, you're alluding to the moustache. Yes, well, as you could see, I've not been idle while you were away. Rather natty, don't you think? No, sir, I do not. <laughs> Jeeves! You may get rid of those handkerchiefs. I owe it to you. Thank you, sir. I destroyed them last night. 